insightful session of Studio Talk by CIO and leaders. So as we get up with our 26th annual conference, we have with us Mr. Xavier from NISA. Hello, sir. Welcome Hello. to the Studio Talk. I would like you to brief about yourself a bit so that people can know about you. Hey everyone, I'm Xavier Kurian. I'm the Chief Revenue Officer of NASA AI. We're a neo cloud that's building the next generation AI focused cloud in India. So to begin with, I'll just ask a question. So mm -hmm. as an industry leader, how do you view current state of AI infrastructure readiness across enterprises? Well, if you look at it across the enterprise, mm -hmm. it's too complicated. Mm -hmm. You should look at it as there are a set of customers that are ahead of the curve mm -hmm. and they've already set up the infrastructure, they've set up the teams True. and they are already yeah. on the path of developing AI applications. Yes. Yeah. There's a second set that has started the journey and they've just about started experimenting mm -hmm. and, that's, uh, and that's their objective is to get to the third step. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole bunch of them that are really early and are just thinking about it. So it's a little fragmented right yeah. now, but it's but it's moving really fast. Yeah, it's in a different stage. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. So with this, I would like to ask you, where do you see most organization in this uh, current journey today? I'm going to say in the middle phase, uh, most of them are have ex are experimenting or at the late stages of experimentation, uh -huh. uh, and I'm going to say many of them are starting to move into uh, into early stage production deployments. Yeah, that's yep. true. Yeah. So my next question to you is, sir, mm -hmm. could you show the AI roadmap as well as the strategic uh, vision of your company? So NASA is a neo cloud. We've, what we've done is we've built out a, a full stack AI platform within India. Uh, what we're trying to do is to go build out that cloud, make it easy to go adopt AI and allow companies to go move through the cycle of experimentation and deployment both at limit at internal scale and at massive scale mm -hmm. fairly seamlessly we've got we've got the solution for the trainers the fine tuners and the inferencers so it's it's more about finding that that blend of what works what you can what models you can train what models can you take from the open source community and fine tune and then how to go use that in a in a uh, for inferencing the requirements that you have so we're trying to build that entire solution for for customers and be partners for those customers during that journey that's the objective that's that's very really great to know what yeah. nisa is you know taking forward for all the customers absolutely yeah. What would be your key advice to all the CIOs as well as all the future leaders who are aiming to accelerate and scale their AI initiative effectively? The, the first thing I want to say is you've got to start somewhere. Yeah. You've got to find those sweet spots within the organization that there can be an impact. Um, the, the system that we've seen mm -hmm. is that there are pieces of, of, uh, of data that lie within the organization yeah that no human can possibly look at. The ability of AI to look at these vast amounts of data, mm -hmm. make decisions and, and give, provide an output in line with that database is something that's phenomenal and it's game changing. If you can find that use case within the organization, it's important to start. And that's the biggest advice that I'd like to give people. That's really nice. Thank you. That was very insightful session. Thank you so Thank much, you. sir.